So Beth, um, I want to play a game before we dig into your role at NPA, which is what you call it. Um, I want to play yay or nay. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask you questions and you're going to say yay or nay. And you can go into an explanation. You can make a face. You can roll your eyes. Whatever it is, you can answer however you like. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. All right. Yay or nay? Getting a new pet while expecting a baby. Nay. (laughs) She didn't waste any time there. And I have to agree. Absolutely nay, nay, nay. Getting a pet over the internet. Nay. Yay or nay? Nay. Well... I will caveat that everything we are operating over the internet right now, but when it comes to buying and shipping a dog through the internet, absolutely nay. Yeah, no. Rescuing, like looking on like petfinder.com and finding a rescue near you via the internet, okay. I'm asking like what you explained, purchasing a pet and shipping a pet that you have not seen, that you have no idea where they come from over the internet is a nay, nay, nay. Nay, 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 nay. Choosing a pet based on a photo alone. <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you do that? Is that why you're laughing? No, it's just, <laughs> the Im- <laughs> I did not. Um, <laughs> the amount of people that adopt from us that tell us the moment I saw that photo, I just knew that was my dog. And it's just like, we always kind of go, it, sometimes it pays off because sometimes it's like hard to place dogs and we're like, oh good, I'm glad like, <laughs> that was yay you know but then like there's some that's like like girl you don't know this dog at all or like you don't know this cat like she's cute sure but like you know something about the eyes and I'm like okay like I don't know so Whatever. with Titan who I talk about all the time because he's the love of my life Titan was chosen by my ex and it was through a photo mm-hmm. and it was because he was like a shepherd mix and he was gonna be like over 50 pounds and I genuinely did not care what dog I, I just wanted a dog I genuinely did not care so I left that on his plate to like choose and when he showed me the picture I nearly died because I was like that is the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life and he is the most amazing dog I've ever had in my life but yeah it all it took was that photo for my I, ex I get it I've seen people get really amped like over their connection they have over a photo <laughs> where I'm like you need to calm down <laughs> okay like, so that you don't actually know like this is gonna be horrible <laughs> this dog could be a nightmare, like a literal nightmare yeah. that you're like, I love the picture. Okay. Well, that takes me to the next one. Manifesting the perfect pet. Yay or nay? Nay. Well, okay. No, I misunderstood your question. Yay. If you put it out there, they will find you. So yes, I, I went nay thinking like uh, you will be perfect, I guess. In right, my head. right, right. The perfect pet for you, not a perfect pet. Like right. there is no yeah. such thing as a perfect pet. Correct. And if you try to make them a perfect pet, you will be disappointed. 100%. Hiring a dog trainer or dog walker or both before the dog even comes home. Yay or nay? Well, it's great to do your research. It's great to know what's out there. It's really hard for a dog trainer or a dog walker to be able to commit to providing care without having any idea what your animal is like at all. Um, If they're a good candidate for an own pet care, um, some trainers really specify in certain behaviors. Like I'm not great at, um, separation anxiety. So if you got your dog, I mean, I'm I'm good at mild, but severe separation anxiety is not my forte. And so if you got a dog and like, turns out severe separation anxiety, I'm not the trainer for you. So good to have options and know who's out there knows who's recommended, but, um, you know, don't put all your eggs in that basket. I love it. Adopting a senior pet, yay or nay? Yay. Very much yay. How old is senior to you? Dogs, I would say over seven, six or seven. Um, Cats, probably about the same, actually. Um, That's when they start becoming senior in the eyes of an adopter. Um, But really, a senior cat would be like, 10, 11, 12, or anything like Is that. Because their like, life expectancy is like 18. So mm-hmm. you're looking at still having eight good years with them. Yeah. Yeah. A, a, an adult cat, which like seven or eight, like to an adopter, really, they do really perceive it as like a senior. Um, but yeah, dogs in general. But, you know, little dogs, they live much longer. So, like, you know, a 10 year old chihuahua isn't senior, but, you know, 
whatever. They might bite you. I, everybody, if you've not seen the after show that I do, um, I always ha- ask the same questions. And uh, I always ask, what is your least favorite breed? And Chihuahua seems to be a popular one. So <laughs> Chihuahuas are, uh, and I'm in El Paso, The our, our minor league team is called the Chihuahuas. So um, Chihuahuas, it's funny that you should say that because they have a, a little bit of a mixed uh, reputation. They do. I'll say that. To be diplomatic. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. Getting a pet on a whim because it just feels right. Yay or nay? Nay. (laughs) Nay. Although I did, I did do that with my recent dog, but I am like more than prepared and know what it's like to add an extra animal to my life. Yes. Okay. I should say that this is for the average pet parent or family. I am not talking about somebody who has worked full time in pet care for almost a decade. That's yeah not what I'm talking about. (laughs) You are an exception as I think I would be too. I'd be like, no, no. Yes. (laughs) Well, you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, the people that do things more impulsively, which is why I like really don't miss adoption events with COVID, um, is we're, it's just more intentional, I guess. I love that. That is such a good point. All right. Final one. I know that this one's going to be a little bit of a back and forth because there's no real right answer. Board and train, yay or nay? I do it. I, pro- I provide services. I'm actually, I'm in, a, I'm in a weird place with that where I really love doing it, but I just can't figure out the right combination, like the secret recipe to passing it all on to a pet parent, especially during COVID. Like I provide like notes and videos, but like, I'm not sure... If you send your dog to board and train to get them perfectly trained and you think they're going to come back perfectly trained, nay, because it is not going to, like, you have to be the one to train your dog. You have to understand behavior and understand what you're reinforcing. I know people who operate board and trains where they go, they have to come back for refreshers. And that's just kind of like the endless cycle, right? Um, Because they'll, the behaviors will stop being reinforced and then they'll fade away and then they have to go and redo it. And oftentimes they're using aversive methods to train them to get those fast results. If you send your dog to board and train to get a better assessment from a trainer of like their behavior and for a plan, which is what I kind of like to do, like send them to me, let me have them for a week. Let me kind of figure out what they need, what direction they need to go in, what you're seeing, what's actually happening. Um, if they can thrive in a different environment, you know, whatever. Um, then yay. Like you just have to manage your expectations and make sure you're going to somebody who's not going to, uh, you know, inadvertently or not abuse your dog. 